So, to illustrate the service department cost allocation, we will answer problem 7-28 of your book. So, I have a, I have only taken a picture of the uh, major, of the other page. So, I will just read. Home Life Insurance uh, Company has two service departments, actuarial and premium rating, and two production departments, advertising and sales. The distribution of each department's efforts in percentages to other department is shown in the following table. So, as you can see, actuarial the actuarial department provides 80% of its services to premium rating and then 10% uh, to advertising and sales. And then for premium, uh, for the premium department or the premium rate, rate, rating, um, the premium rating department rather provides 20% of its services to the actuarial department, 20% to advertising, and 60% to sales. Okay? And then we also have the direct operating cost of the departments, including both variable and fixed cost. Okay? So here, uh, the two service departments are the actuarial and premium rating. So we have to allocate first the cost of the direct cost of these departments, which is 80,000 and 15,000 respectively, to the advertising and sales department. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is to use the direct method. So as mentioned earlier, under the direct method, what we do is we simply allocate or we directly allocate the cost of the service departments to the revenue generating units or uh, production departments, diba? So, um, what we'll do here, of course, we'll allocate the cost of the actuarial department first. So, for the actuarial department, um, this is the service depart this is the uh, percentages diba? service each department's efforts in percentages so basically it provides 10% of its services to advertising and 10% of its services to sales you might notice that uh, majority or 80% of the services that the actuarial department provides uh, goes to the uh, premium rating However, under the direct method, diba, we do not recognize the reciprocity of benefits. Reciprocity of benefits among the department. So, itong 80% na to, parang nababaliwala siya. Okay? So, what are we going to do here? So, syempre, we have actuarial department. So, yung advertising natin and sales. So, what will happen here is that we have 10 and 10. So, we will not use 10% anymore, diba? So, uh, proportionate and rational allocation tayo. So, pag nag-proportionate and rational allocation, we have to compute, oops, sorry. Okay. We have to compute for the total, the ba, of the allocation basis that we we'll use. So, we have 10 plus 10, we have 20. And then, to compute for the allocated cost, syempre, we have, uh, we just have to multiply, uh, the total cost of the actuarial department, which is 80%, by 10 over the denominator, which is 20. And we'll get 40,000. So basically, that is 50%. Ba? So if you want, you can also compute for the percentage, but pwede rin namang diretso na siya. So for the sales department naman, we will allocate, so same process, we have... 80,000 is the direct cost of the actuarial department multiplied by 10 over 20. So, we'll get 40,000. Okay? So, basically, under the direct method, the cost of the actuarial department will be uh, allocated to the advertising department and sales department equally. Okay? okay so, for the premium rating department, so... For the premium rating department, we have, syempre, we will also allocate its cost to uh, the advertising and the sales department as well. Ba? So, just like what we did earlier, we are going to refer to the uh, to this table. Ba? So, 
basically the advertising received 20% of the ser total services provided by the premium rating department and then the sales department received 60% but again for our allocation we will not um, we will not use we will not uh, express these figures as percentages kasi may iwan tong si 20% dito okay so let us compute for the denominator that we're going to use so we have 20 plus 60 80 and then to compute for the allocated cost we have the direct cost of the premium rating department multiplied by 20 over our denominator which is 80 and we'll get 3750 and then for the sales department same thing no so we have direct cost of the premium department premium rating department multiplied by 60 over sorry over 80 and we'll get 11,250 okay so the first requirement is to determine the total cost of the advertising and sales departments after using the direct method of allocation so to do that syempre uh, ang gagawin natin dito is that um, we'll get the direct cost of each department first diba? so we have direct cost uh, and then department advertising advertising and then sales department so for the direct cost we have advertising is 60,000 and then for the sales naman we have 40,000 and then we have the allocated cost from number one is the uh, actuarial department and then number two we have the sorry premium rating department okay. so for the allocated cost the actuarial we have um, advertising is 40,000 and then for premium rating nag allocate tayo ng 3,750 and then for the sales department the actual depart the actuarial department has allocated 40,000 of its cost to the sales department and the premium rating department naman has allocated 11,250 of its cost to the sales department so yung total cost natin total cost we have 103,750 for the advertising department and 91,250 for uh, the sales department so that's it for the direct method so as you can see diba, very straightforward lang talaga as in in-allocate lang natin siya diretso na doon sa mga service departments natin okay so yun po ganyan siya under the direct method okay sige so um, for the second requirement, we have to determine the total cost of the advertising and sales department after using the step method of allocation, right? So, as mentioned earlier, if we are to use the step method, we need to know, diba, um, what is the benefits ranking, diba? What is the benefits ranking or who among the service department provides the most services to other departments, diba? So, usually, um, syempre, in your examination, um, we will tell you, diba? So, sabihin na natin yun. But, through the, uh, through this, through the, through this table, diba? Through this table, we can easily determine who provides the most services to who. Diba? Ang pagkakomparin mo lang naman dyan, si actuarial sa si premium rating eh. As you can see, si actuarial naman, uh, 80% ng services niya kay premium rating na pupunta. And then, for the premium rating department, only 20% of its services diba, is received by the actuarial. So, it goes to show that um, as far as the benefits received ranking is concerned, number one si actuarial. So, under the step method, yun yung uh, si actuarial, the cost of the actuarial department will be allocated first. And then, after that, we will allocate the total cost of the premium department. Okay? Sige, so tingnan natin to, no? Actuarial muna tayo ulit. 
war yan. Okay? So, um, this is not, ano naman, hindi naman masyadong komplikado. The only difference between the direct tsaka sa step is yun na nga, di ba? Kapag ka, ikaw yung number one sa ranking, you get, you got, you get to allocate your cost to the other service department as well. So, dito, makakatanggap din dito si premium rating. Pati yung, ano natin, mga production department natin, such as advertising and sales, di ba? So, yun na nga, since, um, di ba dito, binigay na kung ilang percent. Kung baga, same pa rin, 80% na siya, tapos si advertising, 10%, and then si sales, 10%. This time, we can use the percentage, kasi pag tinotal mo naman siya, sorry, pag tinotal mo naman yung allocation base na gagamitin natin, di ba? you'll get 100% pa rin, or total niya is 100% pa rin. So, we can easily use the um, percentages this time. Yeah? So, for the allocated cost, syempre, uh, we have to multiply um, 80,000 by the percentages, which is 80%. Okay? And then, for advertising, ganun din po, we have 80,000 multiplied by 10%. And then for sales, we have 10% multiplied by the direct cost of the actuarial department. So, we'll get 8,000 as well. So, ibang-iba, ba? As compared early, earlier, anong nangyari? Um, under the direct method, advertising and sales, ba? Divided the... Uh, direct cost of the actuarial department equally among themselves. Pero dito, under the step method, bulk of the bulk of the cost of the actuarial department is allocated to premium rating kasi marami siyang pinaprovide na service to. So, ayun po. Okay? So, okay na tayo dyan. Now, since we have already allocated the cost of the actuarial department, sarado na siya. Hindi mo na siya pwedeng balikan or hindi mo na siya pwedeng um, allocate pa ng cost. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to allocate the cost of the direct cost of the premium rating department plus whatever the allocated cost that the premium rating department has received from the actuarial department. Okay? So, that's the first thing we're going to do. Kompitin natin ngayon how much is the new cost, diba? New cost of the uh, premium rating department. Okay, so we have premium rating. So, magkano na yung direct, magkano na yung total cost na ngayon. Earlier, we have a direct cost of 15,000. Plus, plus uh, we have to add, di ba, the allocated cost of the actuarial department to the premium rating department, which is 64,000. Kaya, yung direct cost na ng premium, sorry, not direct cost, the total cost, of the premium department, premium rating department is already 79,000. Now, since pangalawa na siya or siya na yung last, wala naman ng ibang service department, ba? We will allocate the cost of uh, the premium rating department to the advertising and sales department as well. So, pwede natin kunin na lang din to, no? Kasi same naman yung magiging allocation basis natin. 20 and 60, diba? For a total of 80. So, to compute, ba, we have um, total cost of the premium rating department multiplied by multiplied by 20 over 80 and we'll get um, 19,750. And then for the sales department, we have um, multiplied by 60 over 80 and we'll get 59,250. So, ayan po. Okay? But this is not the answer. Kasi remember, we are asked for the total cost. Diba? So, sige, tingnan natin dito. So, let us copy this. Para mas madali, mas mabilis. Okay? And then, this one as well. Let us copy this. Kasi pareho lang na din naman yung direct cost nila. Okay? Yan. Ay, naku, sorry. So, for the direct cost, we have 60,000 for advertising. And for the sales, we have 40,000. Okay? So, for the allocated cost, 
di ba? From the actuarial department, the advertising department will receive only 8,000. And then the sales department will receive 8,000 as well. Tapos for the premium rating department, um, the advertising department will receive 19,750 and um, 59,250 for the sales department. Naman. And then, syempre, the total, so copy na lang natin to so that it will be easier. We just have to compute. So, the total cost of the advertising department is 87,750 and 100,000, 107,250. So, as you can see, medyo nag-shift, di ba? Nag-iba yung total natin, yung total cost of the advertising and sales department under the two methods, which is, I think, normal because, um, yun na nga, ang laki kasi nung naging effect nitong 80% na ginagamit ni premium rating na to. Kumbaga, under the step method, si actuarial muna yung nagpasa and then after that the UC premium rating naman yung nagpasa dun sa mga service departments natin so ganun yung nangyayari under the step method so ayan okay so siguro the other questions that will be asked whenever uh, once you take the quiz or the prelim exam syempre tatanungin kayo how much is the actuarial cost allocated to the advertising department under the step method so the answer will be 8,000. How much is the premium rating cost allocated to the sales department under the direct method? So the answer will be 11,250. So that's it for the uh, direct and step method. For the algebraic method, I will try to prepare another video kasi medyo mahirap siyang isolve through Excel. So I will try to find a way na para nakakasulat ako and then I will upload it again later.